Hello people, Cinema 4D tutorial here and we're basically going to be doing a getting started or um, basic training series for Cinema 4D um, similar to our Maya training series only it was requested in Cinema 4D so well, let's get started um, so basically first of all user interface and navigation now first of all we're going to look at some of the windows um, We've got our viewport here, and now there's two basic ways of looking at the viewport. You have a 3D perspective view, which shows up by default. It will look like this, maybe at a different angle. And then, what you can do, you can hit this button up here, which looks like a square. And if you choose that, we can now get three orthographic views. We have our top, front, and right view. If you don't know what a tool does, we have a nice um, tool help well, help bar down here, um, which if you keep an eye on that when I hover over a tool, it tells us what it does, and it also can give us a shortcut. So let's go back to this view by clicking on the square here. Now, over here we have our objects panel. When you create an object in Cinema 4D, it's going to be listed in here. Our attributes editor is basically settings. Um, if you're used to um, After Effects, when you add an effect, um, you get some settings where it's very much like that in Cinema 4D. In fact, Cinema 4D is aimed more towards graphic designers than 3D um, creators, um, special effects, you know what I mean. Um, but you can do it with it, obviously. Our structure panel, um, you won't be using this too much, it's similar to objects, um, but we're going to cover it in a different tutorial. So up here we've got our menu bar, um, unlike most uh, Mac Macintosh applications, the menu bar is in fact in the application window as opposed to in our traditional menu bar that's built into the OS. Uh, it's the same in Windows as well, it's just nicely in here. And similar to Maya and most other 3D applications, you can click this button here. You see it's gone grey just under one of the menus, and we can click that, and there we have a floating panel. This can be docked. If we grab that grey bar, we can see that we've got lines coming up as we hover over. We can basically tell it where we want it, so we put it there. It now goes in there. We can right click, we've got a few options on to customizing this menu thing. We can um, get rid of the text and just have the icons. Um, so say you're using these a lot, it might be quite useful. Uh, we might want to boost and change the icon size. And then you can scroll with your mouse button to so scroll up and down here. I don't actually want that, so I'm going to undock that and then simply choose the red button. You can move around some of your menu, um, some of your panels just like this. Down here we have our materials panel. Um, you might like it free floating. Um, I know it's quite a popular choice in lots of 3D applications. However, it's very nice to have it down here, as you'll soon learn. Coordinates will basically tell you the coordinates of maybe a selected object or point, um, depending on what you're working on. Here we have our creation bar. Basically, if you're adding anything to your scene, um, it's, it can be found in here. If we hold down our left mouse button, you can see we've got some options for some basic polygons that we can create. If we let go over here, we've now got that menu bar again, and we can get rid of text, and just like last time, we can get icon size, we can set it to medium, and we can also so to one thick and that would be very handy to slide in here and then instead of having to go to here every time let's say we wanted a square we can just press the square button and bam we've got a square now to navigate in our viewport um, we can hold down the alt button and left mouse button and that's going to orbit alternatively you've got this button here, which lets you rotate around. Um, you can alt middle click. Now, I don't find this works very well. More often than not, every time I try to alt middle click, I scroll, and that's not very good for me. Um, 
and obviously you can alt right mouse button zoom in and out or just use the scroll wheel. Um, my favourite way of navigating in Cinema 4D is to use the 1, 2 and 3 keys. Now just above all your letter keys on your keyboard um, you got 1 to 9 or 1 to 9 then 0. Um, if you hold down 1 and left mouse button you can pan one um sorry hold down two and left mouse button and zoom and then hold down three to orbit and basically this one two and three are representing these buttons up here beautiful um so as you saw i was moving my object here basically you know, i know i'm in the move tool because this button here is highlighted um there's hotkeys for these um, you can see the shortcut in the help bar, remember down here, look at that. You can see the shortcut for the move tool is E, and then it's T for um, um, the scale, and then R for rotation. So we can move just on one axis, or we can grab the object and move it on multiple axis at the same time. With the rotate tool, we can do the same. And you can hold down shift to snap, which is very handy. Let's say you just wanted it to go 90 degrees, which is quite a common rotation. Um, there you go. And you can also scale with T. Um, so a uniform scale would be dragging from the center. And then if we hit the C key, now C key is going to become your favorite key. Um, that basically makes an object editable. Hit the C key and then we can stretch it out, which is very nice. So this is just a basic introduction to the user interface interface and getting used to um, Cinema 4D and play around, maybe play around with some of the objects and then watch part two when we basically just going to be covering, covering some basic modeling tools. Um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in part two.